Do I look good? Do I look good? I don't know. Maybe there's like baddies watching this video. It don't fucking matter. I'm going to teach you how to make fucking money. Who gives a f fuck about some bitches? We about to print. And actually, I'm going to tell you why you're not making money. Because that's actually more important than how to make money. Why you're not. You learn more through that. So, I'm going to tell you guys two main reasons why usually, it's not all the time, I'm, I'm not God, I don't know, but usually there's these two reasons why every product test that you run is unprofitable, okay? And it, it goes down to these two fundamentals, right? So, I'm going to try to be Picasso today and, try to, and do some drawings for you. So, today we have two reasons. So, one would be you're not selling the benefit this is gonna be fun of benefit so yeah that's amazing but you're not selling the benefit of the benefit you're just selling the benefit but it's like sell the benefit of the benefit we'll go deeper into what the fuck that actually means two would be superior product. Damn, this is beautiful. This is a P, product. Superior product. So these two reasons are like the fundamentals of you probably not selling and becoming profitable is because you're not selling the benefit of the benefit, which is the marketing, which is the front end. This is the, um, I'm not even gonna try. Front, this is the front end and the superior product is the back end. You align these two together and you have a thriving business that will actually be consistent and withstand at least a year. You know, at least a year. Like, you know, these like drop shippers, like, Pump and dumps, man. Like, I, I, I've had my fair share, and it's like I try my best, though, to make it last. But anyways, so let's start with number one, the benefit of the benefit. So a lot of people, right, think about it. You're, you're selling a weight loss product, and it's like you're telling them, like, this is your ad, right? And you're telling them to lose weight. LW stands for lose weight, right? And that's it. That's like your messaging that comes across to them. But so many people see ads about lose weight, losing weight, losing weight. Everyone's seeing them. Everyone, you're, you're not creating any unique selling point. You're not standing out. Everyone has the same messaging as you. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're not aware of your market sophistication. I've always talked about how the breakthrough advertising is very important. And I'm sure you haven't fucking read it. I'm sure you haven't. So I'm going to do my best to teach you. So the market sophistication is the reason why you're not understanding this concept. If you were to understand, so you were to understand that you went through your research, you went on Facebook ads library, right? And you wrote down or, you know, open like a tab for all the competitors, one, selling your product exactly, and two, selling the same problem as you, you can now have a better understanding of where your market is, where which awareness level is your audience. So if you, uh, you know, did that, right, you did it properly, and you see that everyone is, everyone's messaging in their fucking mama's world is losing weight, losing weight, losing weight, losing weight. And it's like, nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, do better. I gotta do better. So it's like, okay, so everyone is here, right? But then you come out and you're like, all right, I'm gonna make, but you have the same product, by the way. Like you have the same product. So it's like, what can you do different? It's all the messaging. So you say, no, I'm not just gonna make you lose weight. I'm gonna make you lose 18 pounds. in four weeks, right? 
So now, from all the ads that this customer, again, picture is, they're real human beings, right? Don't forget that. They're real human beings across the screen, right? So they're looking at a bunch of ads today, even on the same exact day. Lose weight. I don't know why I put LS. What the fuck? Lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. Then boom, your ad comes out. 18 pounds in four weeks. That's a clear winner. That's a clear winner. So it's understanding the benefit of the benefit. Do they want to lose weight? No, they want to lose 18 pounds. Go deeper. They want to lose 18 pounds in four weeks. That's more specific. And then once that, now we're going to, you know, <clears throat> carry it on, right? Like, obviously, you can go deeper and deeper until, like, the only thing you can advertise is the feature of the product itself. Like, you know, weight loss drug, whatever it is. But a lot of us dropshippers are in this market awareness sophistication stage where everyone's being broad everyone has broad copywriting everyone's marketing angle is pretty shit right and if you were to just be targeting the benefit of the benefit right and the benefit of the benefit the best way to explain it is like basically the transformation people don't buy the product for the product they buy it the product because they buy the product for who they become when buying your product us humans are built off social status right so obviously you can even go deeper if everyone is saying 18 pounds in four weeks well why do they want to lose 18 pounds in four weeks what's the benefit of the benefit and that's probably like let's say it's for guys right get bitches they probably want to get bitches right that's why they want to lose weight but you have to understand that. You have to, as a marketer, understand that. That it's not just losing weight. That's that's not that's the surface level bullshit. That's surface level. You gotta go dig deeper. You gotta say 18 pounds in four weeks. It's more specific. That makes your ad stand out. That makes your brand stand out. Everyone's doing 18 pounds in four weeks. All right. We gotta tell them we're gonna get you bitches. How? Because we're gonna make you lose 18 pounds in four weeks. But the original claim on the hook or the headline was you're gonna get bitches. You're going to get bitches. That's the main benefit. That's the main desire. So it's understanding that you, you got to go a bit deeper. And not only are you going a bit deeper just so you can understand your customer more, but again, it's making you stand out in the advertising world where everyone's like over brainwashed with so many different ads. You have to stand out. But with especially us dropshippers, we're not, you know, we're not inventors. We don't create products. We sell products that already exist online. So how do we compete if we have the same product? If we're offering the same product, it's by our marketing. It's by our messaging and our offer. But that's another That's another time. That's another time. So much. So much. Anyway, so hopefully you understood that. And then two, so now with the superior product, right? Superior product. So why do you need a superior product? Well, it's pretty straightforward, bro. What is, what am I doing? Superior product, all right? Um, yeah, superior product. Okay, <laughs> so the superior product, why is it important? Well, because think about it, you know, a lot of us, when we're unprofitable, we think like, oh my God, it's our price. We have to lower our price by five bucks and then I'm going to be making millions because five bucks too much, it's too much. Customers think it's too expensive, but, but reducing it five bucks is going to make like, what, 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 what? Use the brain a bit. No one gives a fuck about five bucks. No one does. People spend thousands, millions. No one gives a fuck about money. People pretend to do. Because they can't pay bills. But at the end of the day, you give them something. They don't give a fuck. All right? So take the example of why an iPhone, you know, let's say 4 is shittier than the 14, right? So let's say why do people buy the 14 instead of the 4? Four? 4 is cheaper, right? Four is like, you can go to a fucking marketplace and get four, like iPhone four for like probably 10 bucks, right? But then here, so you got, yeah, so you got like an iPhone four for like 10 bucks. This one for like 2K, right? Like two grand for an iPhone 14. 
But people are still going to buy this one. Why? Because it's a superior product. People don't give a shit about what's cheaper or not. They want the best bang for their buck. They want the best product. They want the superior mar product on the market. You understand? So that's why people are not going and buying iPhone 4s, even if it's like 200% cheaper. It's just, it doesn't matter about the price. The price is not the issue. The price usually is never, never the issue. You're just not convincing them that it's worth their money. You're just not convincing them as like, look, I hate to be the one to break it to you. I know all these fucking guys on the internet, these gurus, they like to like sweet talk you so they can like get people to like them. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you the brutal, honest, honesty. I'm being brutally honest. That's the word. You suck at marketing and that's why you're not getting sales because you're not convincing people it's enough for the price. Reducing your price by 10 bucks is going to do fuck all. Do nothing. Absolutely nothing. So that's why people buy the iPhone 14. It's a superior product. So how do you know what is a superior product with dropshipping? Well, again, search up on Facebook ads library, right? And go see what people are selling and search up like the problem you're solving. So let's say you're solving a weight loss product, search up weight loss, search up, you know, fat reduction, whatever fucking you do a bunch of keywords, see what's on the market. And then if you end up finding like a product on TikTok shop, Timu, fucking wherever the fuck you, and organic, wherever you find it, it's a superior product. Now, for an example, an example would be, what's a quick, 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 quick example. So, quick example would be, um, you know, those walking treadmills, right? Walking treadmills. The walking treadmills, people are advertising as the walking treadmill. Like, you put it under your desk, whatever, and you walk. And, like, look. All right. Let, let, me, let me give you some uh, inspiration over here. Walking treadmill, right? So, this is a good product. It is a good product. It helps you lose weight, right? People, you know, burn some calories, whatever it is. But now you're offering like a weight loss pill. Let's say you're doing this, you're selling this. This is a superior product. Why? Because it gets them the same results. It helps them lose weight. It helps them, you know, boost metabolism, increase energy, whatever the benefit of this supplement is. But without doing the work, without spending thousands of dollars on a treadmill, they can pay like 40 bucks for your supplement, uh, take it daily, and, you know, they can get almost the same results, right? It, it's basically the shortcut to the desire. The better your product has a shortcut to the desire makes it a superior product even the quality, even everything. So like, I know for an example, you know, what's a good, what's a good product right now is this like hand vacuum, right? This hand vacuum. So this one, yeah, yeah, this one's been out for a while, but like, let's say, oh shit. I don't want to open up an AliExpress link, but, um, is there like no image? Is there no image? You gotta be shitting me. Anyways, you guys see, oh, there's no images like for real though. Come on. Anyways, fine, fine fine like my mom has this product she literally bought this product unfortunately i told her you were getting drop shipped but this is a good product because the product good the product quality is good you know it's portable it's easy to use blah 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 and what's the shittier product well you got the uh big i don't know box vacuum whatever the hell is called people used to use this right people used to use this shit Right to like vacuum their like car or house, but now you offer this. This is a superior product. This is better in almost every way possible. Lightweight, tra like portable, whatever it is. It's so now if you're selling a, a, a you know a superior product, you can be very confident that you're gonna do good if you have the front end and do the marketing properly, but you can trust the back end because now the back end is secured. You have the superior product in the market at this current moment. So go have fun with it. But it's important to understand that those are the two things where you, you are one, not telling people what they want to hear. You're not selling the benefit of the benefit. And two, people don't even want your product. If it's not a superior product in the market, no one's going to want it. Like people are aware of products out there. People are aware of solutions. They're being thrown solutions constantly every fucking day. People are aware of what's out. 
So if you're offering them an iPhone 4, but th obviously they're aware of the 14, you can do nothing in the front end. You can do you can be the, the best marketer in the world. No one's going to want your product. It's an iPhone 4. It's outdated. It's used. It's like a you know used girlfriend. You know, you know what I'm saying? So those are the two main reasons why you're probably unprofitable. So I really hope that this video helped you out. Maybe you learned something new and now next fo next like next test moving forward, you're going to improve, do better, take notes, take my words, dream about me talking to you and saying benefit, benefit, superior product, benefit, benefit, superior product. Like dream about it. Dream about my word. I'll, I'll, I'm going to be like a more sexy tone so you can. Remember it more. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, <laughs> I've yapped long enough. Thank you for watching. I really f hope you found this video valuable. And of course, as always, I got some banger videos coming out. I just got to say that. I got some banger videos coming out. But anyways, you'll see why. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the fucking top. Baby. I always, I always miss the baby.